Hillary out with the cold hard truth. What he said left her shaking. In a pathetic interview yesterday with Anderson Cooper, Hillary Clinton blamed everyone under the sun for her election loss. Clinton claimed that she would have won if not for James Comey's investigation into her emails. She conveniently left out the fact that an investigation would have never existed had she not broken the law in the first place. Our president wasn't about to let Hillary get away with finger-pointing though. Last night, President Trump took to Twitter and reminded Hillary of why she really lost. The deplorables came back to haunt Hillary. They expressed their feelings loud and clear. She spent big money but, in the end, had no game. Trump also called Hillary out for blaming everyone but herself writing. Crooked Hillary Clinton blames everybody, and everything, but herself for her election loss. She lost the debates and lost her direction. Intelligent Americans know that Trump didn't win because of the fake Russia scandal, white supremacy, sexism or anything else on Hillary's laundry list of complaints. Donald Trump won because he was fighting to put Americans first. He was genuine and his love for our country was undeniable. Maybe if Hillary would have spent a little less time bashing Trump and playing identity politics, she would have had a better chance of winning. Not a much better chance, but a better chance nonetheless. Right after Clinton Foundation shut down, Obama starts up something devious of his own. T's only been a couple months since the Clinton Foundation was shut down and already the world seems a bit brighter. Well, it did, anyways, until today. Now ex-President Barack Obama is falling in his mentor's footsteps and launching the first ever Obama Foundation Summit. The summit is happening in Chicago and will be a meeting of Obama's buddies and community organizers to strategize on how they should direct the world going forward. Obama actually announced his own summit, saying, In the weeks and months ahead, we'll be kicking off more initiatives and opportunities for people like you to get involved with the Obama Foundation's mission. That mission is simple, we want to inspire and empower people to change the world. One of the big projects they are planning on working on this year is called Training Days. These days are essentially a way for Obama and his buddies to hijack the directionless leftist millennials and use them for their own bidding. Don't believe me? Their own official reason for the days was to teach young people how to put civics into action where they live. I think pretty much every sane. Rational American realizes now that Obama divided our country in ways we never thought possible. Is it really a good idea to let him follow in the footsteps of Bill and Hillary Clinton and start his little initiative? Does America really need President Michelle Obama? If you all don't want to see that happen, then help stop it by sharing this out and make people aware of what's going on behind the scenes. SmackDown Sarah Sanders just said the one thing about universal health care liberals fear most. Reporters yesterday thought they were being really clever when they decided to ask Sarah Huckabee Sanders if President Trump would support Bernie Sanders's new universal health care plan as part of his new bipartisan effort. Ha ha ha. Yeah right. Sarah shot back like a lightning rod saying President Trump absolutely does not and will not support their single-payer health care system. But the assault did not end there. She said if America actually wanted single-payer health care, Bernie Sanders would be president right now. Sarah told the reporters in the room. The president, as well as the majority of the country, knows that the single-payer system that the Democrats are proposing is a horrible idea. Not only does the president not support it, but America doesn't support it or Bernie Sanders would be sitting in the Oval Office right now. Now that right there is exactly why all of America does love seeing Sarah Huckabee lead a press conference. She lit those reporters up with some cold hard facts. But the Democrats should be more worried about if their own party even supports single-payer health care. I know a lot of their own top guys, like Chuck Schumer, have rejected the plan. Either way, 
Sarah Sanders crushed the BS so you could see the truth, now it's your turn to help share it out to all your FB friends and let the world see. Moments ago Trump met with the Democrats at White House to do something totally unexpected. Trump is holding a meeting with lawmakers from both sides of the aisle this Wednesday in the White House. After the meeting, Trump told the media that he is looking to get a 15% corporate rate to keep the country competitive. He says that he wants to focus on tax cuts for working-class Americans. He said that the rich may have to pay more money. It's a brilliant move by Trump and a clear play on the Democrats who have been saying this same stuff all year. Trump will now meet with Democrat leaders tonight at the White House. President Trump plays chess and the rhinos and working with the Democrats to get things passed. Share this everywhere if you want Trump to lower taxes and make this country great again. Thanks for reading. Hail Mary Trump and the GOP just teamed up to do something totally insane today. It has been a rough road full of disappointment for the Obamacare repeal effort. Three senators opposed the skinny repeal in August, tanking Bill and frustrating President Trump and his supporters. It looks like hope could be on the horizon, however, as two Republican senators are crafting a new Obamacare replacement. Lindsey Graham, SC, and Bill Cassidy. LA, introduced a bill on Wednesday that would repeal Obamacare and give block grants to individual states, which would then decide how to pay for health care. President Trump did not address the specifics of the plan, but was happy the repeal effort was moving forward, saying, I applaud the Senate for continuing to work toward a solution to relieve the disastrous Obamacare burden on the American people. As I have continued to say, inaction is not an option and I sincerely hope that Senators Graham and Cassidy have found a way to address the Obamacare crisis. The bill must be introduced in 17 days to be passed with a simple majority. Later plans would have to be passed with 60 votes, which would be extremely difficult given the resistance in the Democratic Party. Four Republicans are co-sponsoring the bill and Dean Heller, N.V., and Ron Johnson, which have also signed on to it. John McCain. Oz, who cast the deciding vote against the skinny repeal, has also signaled his approval of the new bill. This is great news, President Trump is on board, and it sounds like we may be rid of Obamacare by the end of the month. H.T. Bloomberg Susan Rice just admitted the sick thing she did to Trump's campaign during the election. So it turns out that Susan Rice is exactly the liar we all knew she was. It turns out she lied when she told CNN earlier this year that she did not unmask Donald Trump campaign staff during the election. Well, forget that because she just gave a private testimony to the House Intelligence Committee and guess what dot she admitted that she did unmask Trump campaign members during the election. But wait, why apostrophe all dot there's more? Rice claimed her reason for unmasking Trump officials was not because of Russia. Instead, it was because she was investigating why a prince of the United Arab Emirates was visiting with Kushner, Bannon, and Flynn without telling Obama first. So apparently their whole investigation started with a search into a prince of the UAE and then jumped to Trump and Russia. The UAE said that the meeting was simply an attempt to build a relationship between the future president of the United States and their country. If Rice and Obama were hiding something like this, though, it makes you wonder what else they could be hiding. Hell, here is the actual interview where Rice claims she didn't do the unmasking that she admitted to today. The media is trying to spin this story and make it against Trump. It is not against Trump. This is either her caught in a lie or the predecessor to something bigger than Watergate for the entire Obama admin.